first law applied to a closed system. Consider a process occurring in a closed system as shown in the pressure volume graph. The closed system changes its state from state 1 to state 2 along path A. Then the system returns to its original state 1 along path B or path C. As the system is returning to its initial state, the system is said to have undergone a thermodynamic cycle. Here we have two cycles 1A 2B1 and 1A 2C1. Let us consider the first cycle 1A 2B1. Here the process starts from state 1 to state 2 through path A and it returns to state 1 through path B. Now the first law is applied to the cycle 1A 2B1. This means the first law is applied to process from state 1 to state 2 along path A and process from state 2 to state 1 through path B. For cycle 1A 2B1, the cyclic integral of dq minus dw is equal to 0. The cyclic integral indicates that the integral is taken around a closed curve or path or around a cycle. Now we convert the cyclic integral over the full cycle to the sum of integrals over each process in the cycle. Integral from 1 to 2 dq minus dw through path A plus integral from 2 to 1 dq minus dw through path B is equal to 0 and is numbered as equation 1. Now let us consider the second cycle 1A 2C1. Here the process starts from state 1 to state 2 through path A and returns to state 1 through path C. Now the first law is applied to the cycle 1A 2C1. The cyclic integral of dq minus dw is equal to 0. Integral from 1 to 2 dq minus dw through path A plus integral from 2 to 1 dq minus dw through path C is equal to 0 which is numbered as equation 2. From equation 1 and 2 we find that the integral from 2 to 1 dq minus dw through path B is equal to integral from 2 to 1 dq minus dw through path C. Here we can see that whatever be the path followed by the process the quantity dq minus dw is same. Its value depends on the end state and not on the path followed and hence it is a property of the system. This property is the energy stored in the system. This energy stored in the system is given the name total internal energy or simply energy of the system denoted by E. So Q minus W is equal to delta E. The total internal energy is the energy in storage, whereas the heat and work are energy in transit.